Hey guys, and welcome back to another crochet tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a crocheted pacifier clip. And the things you will need for this project is a suspender clip. And I purchased this one off of eBay, but you can get them at your local fabric store. I use this 3.25 millimeter crochet hook, a darning needle, and I just had some red heart soft yarn laying around, so that's what I chose to use today. Um, I would probably recommend a soft yarn since it could be up against your baby's skin, so um, the softer the yarn, the better. So first you're going to secure the yarn to your suspender clip. So you're just going to tie a knot a couple times. And then you're going to start with a chain one and then do five single crochets along the suspender clip. So at first it's a little bit tricky just holding everything and you know the yarn is just wants to slip all over the place but um, after you get your five single crochets on then it's pretty much easier for it's easy from there on. And I'm also just um, crocheting over top of the tail so that I don't have to tuck it in later. Which is nice because we always like to eliminate that step if we can. Okay, I'm just going to do the last one. And then you're going to chain one and then turn your work. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to repeat the previous row and do five single crochets along. And of course your chain one will count as your sixth crochet. And then when you get to the at the end of that row, then you're going to again chain one and then turn your work again. So in total I did um, four rows and then I started on the pattern. Okay, so now we're going to start doing the little bumpies that you see. Um, I think it's kind of like a puff stitch. I don't exactly know what it's called, but basically you do two single crochets and then you're going to do five single crochets into the next stitch. and then you take your hook out and you go back to the first single crochet that you put into that stitch, put your hook into it, put the hook through that loop, pull that through so you're just creating a slip stitch and then you're going to chain one. So you basically just tied all the five stitches together and then that chain one is going to act as your stitch. And then two single crochets and then chain one and then turn your work. So I just went ahead and I speed this part up and I did the another three rows of five single crochets, chaining one in the beginning. And then I will go on to do another decorative row. And you always want to make sure that when you do your decorative row that you're doing it on the same side as the previous decorative row. So sometimes, you know, you might be going long and you don't pay attention. Um, the smooth side of your suspender clip is obviously going to be the top and the spot or the side that everyone's going to see so you want to make sure that your little puff stitch is you know coming through on that side so that you know it's all the same 
So after I did my three rows, then I'm going to do another decorative row. And again, I put five single crochets into the middle stitch. And then I'd, again, cinched it together by removing the hook, going back to the first single crochet of that stitch, grabbing the yarn, pulling it through like a slip stitch, and then chaining one to recreate that stitch. And then again, another two single crochets. So it's very easy, very simple. You can make a bunch of these up no, you know, in no time, which is great, especially if um, you, know, you need some last minute gift ideas for a baby shower coming up or something, or you made you know, cute layettes or blankets and you wanted to add a few little extra touches. These take no yarn at all and you know, so easy. And the suspender clips, you can get them anywhere. Um, you can probably even get, get them at Walmart maybe, I don't know. But anyways, now I'm going to start the decrease. And what you're going to do is you're going to chain one and then um, single crochet two together. And to do that, you're going to put your hook into the stitch, grab some yarn, then go into the next stitch, grab some yarn, and then pull through three loops. And then we do one single crochet, and then we're going to single crochet again, two together. Chain one, and then turn your work. And then you will have three stitches left. So because it's an odd number, I just go into the first stitch, grab some yarn, go into the second stitch, grab some yarn, go into the third stitch, grab some yarn, and then I'm going to pull some yarn through the four loops remaining on the hook and then chain one, tighten it a little bit and then I'm going to chain about, I think I did like 17, 17 chains and this is just going to um, create the little end where your pacifier will um, attach onto. And then you're going to just um, fasten off and then leave a generous tail so that you can sew it back onto the, um, the base of the pacifier clip and then just tuck in your ends. And you want to make sure that this is nice and tightly secured just so that you don't have any issues with it, you know, falling off or um, unattaching on the baby or something like that. So yeah, so I will have the pattern um, on my blog, so you can visit my blog to um, read the instructions and also see other photos of it being made. And um, don't forget to check out my Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and I love connecting with my viewers. So if you make anything like this, hashtag Charm by Ashley, and I would love to see um, what you've created and now I'm just going to show you how to attach your pacifier and I really like this pacifier clip because of the little string on the end you're able to put different types of pacifiers like this one has the little handle but some don't come with that like my son's um, we use the one that we got from the hospital so it doesn't have the little arm there so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, don't forget to thumbs up and comment if you have any questions and um, subscribe for more tutorials and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!